people think about Rohan, they're actually usually picturing Western Rohan, which is home to some of the more iconic and memorable places in Middle Earth. And this part of the story and this part of the world have a lot of emotional resonance for fans of Tolkien and for our developers. So we're excited to bring places like Edoras and Metaseld and obviously Helm's Deep finally to the landscape of the Lord of the Rings Online. We worked um, really closely with the design team at the beginning of the development cycle to get a sense of how the specific story that is in the books is gonna be expressed through our content. So there's opportunities for us to tell the stories of people who are you know, packing up their, their, their belongings in fear of these invading armies of, of Saruman's orcs. Player's gonna be working with Eowyn to help evacuate Edoras She's chafing a little bit at the fact that she's been left behind when Theoden and her brother Aemer have ridden off to battle in Isengard. But she has a lot of responsibility getting the people of Edoras together, settling their disputes, and heading off to safety in Dunharrow. And Grima Wormtongue's influence is still very strong in Rohan as well. He hasn't just been holding the king in thrall, but he's also been performing acts of sabotage against the kingdom in other ways, and you'll be following his trail to root out his corruption. Helm's Deep obviously has a very rich history for Rohan, and we wanted to make that as evident to the player as possible. The way that I prefer to approach Helm's Deep and its geography was uh, looking at it as a valley carved by glacial action, and thinking about it in that way, really helped to define some requirements for the space that weren't defined by Tolkien in the text. We put a lot of effort into building Helm's Deep and the Hornburg and the dike that precedes the structure in, in the valley. I spent most of my time for this expansion planning and designing the Hornburg. Typically when I concept something, I'm focusing primarily just on the visual impact of the painting that I hand off to the 3D artists. In the case of Helm's Deep, things worked a little bit differently because I really approached the task more as an architectural task than a concepting task. So rather than just do sketching and it leads into a painting, I actually built a rough 3D model. The model helped me to figure out the angles and the spaces and to make sure that the proportion between different elements of the Hornburg were working together. We've got a really great team with a broad set of skills that together are collaborating on developing this content you know, between concept art and the world team and the production artists. This part of Tolkien's story was the stuff that as a kid, I, you know, I was most fascinated by. I love drawing pictures of the orcs battling the free people. And it's been a fantastic opportunity to be able to work with this team and, and you know, do it uh, in a product. You know.